Hi mga kanumbers! How are you all? As always, welcome back to Wang RB channel. Today, let's learn percentage the quick and easy way. But before we go along, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wang RB channel. And if you would like notifications and updates on all of my videos, please click the all notification bell. If you are ready, let's begin. Let's keep in mind that percent means for each hundred, meaning 1% is equal to 1 over 100. And to determine the percentage, you have to divide the portion of the whole by the whole itself and then multiply by 100. So, meaning 1 over 100 is a 1 divided by 100. And since that is not enough, you will usually um, put 0 there and then add the decimal point. Put another 0. 10 divided by 100 is still not enough, so we still have to put 0 on top. And then add another 0, and that gives us 100. So 100 divided by 100 is 1. So 1 times 100 is 100, and 100 minus 100 is now 0. So that means our answer is 0 0.01. And we have to multiply by 100 or 100%, and that will give us 1%. So that's how we do percentage. However, there's a way to make it simple, quick, and easy. Let's have this first example. What is 30% of 30? So remember that 100% of 30 is 30, of course, because that's a whole. And then 10% of 30 is equal to 3. So notice that if you know what is a whole, then you just divide it with what is being asked, which is 10%. So 30 divided by 10 will give us 3. So, connecting that with this, we know that 30% is 3 times 10%, right? So, since you know that 10% of 30 is 3, so you can just multiply 3 times 3. Okay, and that will give us 9. Alright? However, you can have another strategy which is also applicable when you have... Um, zeros on your percent and on your uh, number so since we have zero here we can cancel zero there and then we can also cancel the other zero on the other side so three times three now will give you nine and that is the answer to 30 percent of 30 is equal to nine let's have this second example what is 60 percent of 50 again applying what we have learned in the previous example we can say 100 percent of 50 is 50 of course and then 10 percent of 50 is 5 okay remember we can just divide 50 divided by 5 i mean 50 divided by 10 and that will give you 5. now applying that we said that um uh, 10 percent of uh, 60 is uh, 5 so that means 5 times 6 and that would give us 30 all right and if you would apply the second strategy which is i believe that's easier since they have both zeros so we can just cancel the zeros 6 times 5 would give us 30 and the answer to the question what is 60 percent of 50 is equal to 30. And that's it. Now you try the third example. What is 20% of 130? So you can apply the strategies that we have learned in the previous examples. So if you are ready, you can start. I'm giving you 10 seconds. All right, if you are ready, let's check your answer. So remember that 100% of 130 is 130 and the 10% of it, which is 130 divided by 10 is 13. All right, so 10% is 13 and then multiply that with 2. 2 times 13 will give us 26. So you should have 26 as your answer and applying your second strategy, which is just canceling your zeros, we have to times 13 and that will also give us 26 which is the same as this so meaning the answer to the question what is 20% of 130 is equal to 26 if you get it perfect let's now have a more challenging problem what is 65% of 70 
Notice that one of the numbers doesn't have a zero anymore, so we cannot use the zero cancellation strategy or trick. However, we can still use this strategy wherein we get 100% and 10% of the whole number. 100% of 70 is 70, of course. And the 10% of it is 7. We just have divided 70 by 10, so we've got 7, or we can multiply 70 times 10%. What if we have 5%? Notice that 5% is half of 10. That means we can divide 7 by 2, or half of 7, and that is equal to 3.5. We now know that 5% of 70 is equal to 3.5. Now we have to solve the 60%. We also know that 10% times 6 is equal to 60% and the 10% of 70 is 7 so we just have to write that down. Multiply it by 6, we now have 7 and 6 is 42. 60% then of 70 is 42 and the 5% is 3.5. We just have to put them together so 42 plus 3.5 will give us 45.5 meaning the 65% of 70 is 45.5 that's it hope you get that let's have the last example which is what is 42% of 68 that is that both of the numbers do not have zeros anymore so we can apply the zero cancellation strategy or trick we can still apply the 100% and 10% strategy, however, it will be more complicated. That's why I'll be teaching you another strategy, which I believe is easier for you. So 42%, remember, is equal to 42 over 100. So let's change that to decimal. So I just copy 42, and then since we have two zeros here, it means two decimal places. So we just have to move the decimal point from the end of the number or from the right, moving that to the left, and that would give us two places. So we just put the decimal point and then zero. So 42 over 100 is equal to 0 0.42. So we now know that 42% is equal to 0 0.42. Now we are ready to multiply since we said 42% of 68. Of means multiply, all right? So 0 0.42 times 68. All right, so having that, we have 0 0.42 times 68, 8 times 2 is 16, and then 8 times 4 is 32 plus 1 is 33. So since that is 0, we just bring down 3 in there. 6 times 2 is 12, and then 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1 is 25. So since that is 0, we just bring down 2 there. So we just add them, 6, and then 3 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, and then bring down 2. So since we have two decimal places there, we have to have two decimal places on our final answer, and that is 28.56. So 0 0.42 times 68 is then 28.56. So our final answer for the question, what is 42% of 68 is... 28.56 and that's how you do thank you for watching wang rb channel you can also follow me on my facebook fan page teacher wang rb bye and god bless